I just wanted to like talk about what's been going on. Um, sort of like a vlog style. I haven't really done something like this before, but I just felt like it was important to document my mindset, what I'm going through, because um, I don't know what, what the future holds for me or, you know, what's going to happen next or, you know, what's, <laughs> if any of these threats are real or anything crazy like that. So I just want to like take a minute and just talk about what's going on. Um, currently, I'm working with Instagram. Uh, we're just talking about like, I'm basically I'm just like spamming them with all the terrible stuff that's been going on. Um, uh, I've just been trying to give them as much information as possible as I have so that they can send to the right people and um, and then hopefully there can be some sort of change that, that comes out of this. Um, I'm, I'm not really confident that's going to happen because uh, they don't really understand that this is a huge, huge problem on Instagram. And it's not just meme accounts too, like there are other scammy ads that happen on different, uh, you know, genres of the platform. Uh, I just, I'm, you know, I, I specialize in memes, so like this is just my, my field, so I felt like it was kind of my duty to speak up about something like this. And I'm just kind of worried that I'm like screaming at Instagram's face and they're just kind of being like, oh, okay, we got you. Like, obviously they're, they're taking like the death threats seriously, which they should, and I, I'm thankful for that. Um, I'm just kind of worried that like they think that's the whole problem and that's all I'm worried about. Like the death threats are just because of the problem. They're not the, they're not like, if, if this is a pimple, the death threats are just the pus and everything else is the red pump, like, it's just, they, they've got it all completely wrong. And, and obviously I want to focus on the death threats first right now, but I'm just really worried that they think this is the only thing I'm worried about, but in reality, I don't give a shit about really the death threats because they're, you know, all illegitimate probably. Um, I'm more focused on how can we change this platform and make it better for creators and uh, just make it a better place for people to be because there's no real incentive to join Instagram if you're a new creator at all. Like TikTok pays you now, um, the creator fund and all that. YouTube has always paid people since like 2011. Um, there's no incentive for someone to join Instagram. There really isn't. Um, I think that's what's causing the, the issue. At, at the, the heart of the, the issue is that, you know, all these people have great followings and they have a valuable thing that they want to make money off of, as, as they should. Um, but the, the way they're doing it is completely and totally not right. And the reason why they're getting away with it is because Instagram just, just turns turns away and they're like, oh, I don't see that. Or it's such a small problem to them, them like a scale, that uh, it doesn't matter to them that, you know, let's say like there's 60 million people involved in this somehow that's still like a percentage of, like a small percentage of what they, what, like their app is. Like they don't care about that many people. They, like that problem is so in insignificant to them that it doesn't matter. But my, that's why I'm trying to speak up and like use my voice. I have like a decent following and you know, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna change the whole thing by myself. That's for sure. But what I definitely can do is I can get connected with people more important than me and um, you know, more influential. And if they see what I'm saying, and maybe they can amplify it, and you know that's how you know you, you go viral or whatever. Um, but my main goal is just for Instagram to like wake up. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just I'm just tired of Instagram, you know, promoting all these these like PC meme pages and like acting like they like meme culture, and then at the same time completely ignoring the fact that the majority of the repost pages that that the kids follow um, are using kids as a way to grow other accounts and then make money off of those accounts by doing the same thing again by like selling you know fake PS5 giveaways or what at OnlyFans fan ads to kids like there's there's so many issues that Instagram has to deal with that they just simply don't want to talk about because they don't know the answer and obviously the scary issue and like there's they, they don't have the, the solution and I, can, I get it kind of because there's no way for them to solve this.
but the fact that they're not even talking about this as an issue is completely mind-boggling to me. Um, you know, I've talked to Instagram staff a lot, and they've been very helpful in terms of like acknowledging that this is wrong, and that um, they'll send it to the right people and whatever. And this is still very, very like early on in uh, this whole issue. Like, I, I only exposed to this on like Saturday, or Sunday, and it's it's Tuesday now. Um, so maybe this will change in a week or whatever. But I'm just I'm just worried because I've dealt with Instagram before in terms of stuff like this, and it takes like weeks and months for them to like do anything and sometimes what they do is it's, it's so small it doesn't even fix it and they think that they solve the problem and in reality it's just like you know it's putting a band-aid on like a a gunshot wound it's not really it's not really like helpful they're trying to like save their own image you know almost um, so that's kind of where I am right now uh, mentally I'm kind of uh, like exhausted in terms of just reading DMs like I'm sorry if I haven't read you know your DMs or whatever um, I just, <laughs> there's so many people talk, trying to talk to me that I, I, I don't have the capacity to respond to everyone. And I've never really dealt with, you know, an actual influx of hundreds of people trying to DM me. And most of them are positive. You guys are great. Like, all the DMs I, I'm getting, except for the people from Megas, are always like, we support you. No one has said stuff like, bro, we don't care, or like, go back to memes. like. I have not got one DM like that, and you know, after I post this video, I'm sure I'll get a DM like that because you guys are funny like that, and I, I appreciate that. Um, but I, yeah, you guys have been great. Um, I I appreciate the support. Uh, from here, uh, we just we just gotta keep exposing these megas, and hopefully, I'm talking with a few media people right now about um, you know making a couple articles and going on a few podcasts and um, just talking to a few YouTubers. Just trying to get as many eyeballs on this as possible because the way that Instagram will respond and actually decide that this is a problem worth fixing for them is that we make the people they care about talk about this problem. Like they don't like you know the CEO of Instagram doesn't give a shit right now that I'm talking about this. He doesn't know who like I've met him in person, but he doesn't give a shit what I'm saying right now. Um, but like let's say like a, a reporter from like I don't know like. Chicago Tribune or like the Washington Post or you know something notable like that um, they might take that more seriously because they don't want their PR and, and image to be affected which makes sense as a company um, I'm trying to see it from their eyes because the only way that we're going to fix this problem is through Instagram because it's their platform and ultimately these megas they're not the problem like these people are making money off their account in any way they can because Instagram doesn't, doesn't provide creators a way to make money like they're they're just being you know resourceful and just making money because they can. The only reason they're making money is because they can on Instagram. That Instagram needs to like wake up and realize that if they want to fix this, they need to provide a way for people to make money on the app because you know having a, an account with nine hundred thousand followers is valuable, and there's no way to make money off of it directly on Instagram, and people will find whatever way they can to make money, and they make a lot of money from this. So I think the solution here is have Instagram create a way to pay creators so this doesn't become as big of a problem. People are always going to do this. Like It's never going to change, and never going to just completely eliminate it. But we can definitely de-incentivize it and just create a, a better like economy for creators and for like consumers. Like um, I'm a meme account, I'm a creator, but I'm also a consumer. Like I look at memes all day, so I, that's why I was tired of it on Sunday. I was just like, I saw so many like different ads that I was just like, I need to do something about this. I can't just keep being silent. So that's why I made the post on Sunday asking for you guys to send me all the um, all the shitty ads that I, on like on Instagram. So um, yeah, that's, I just want to give you guys like an, an update of my mental state um, in terms of like legal stuff. I, uh, I'm in contact with authorities in my state and uh, my parents' state um, about like I've just you know warned them what's been going on and uh, if I'm ever like swatted or whatever they have my information and um, so they can stop that before it happens. Um, other than that, uh, I just want to say like thank you guys and um, the best way to support me is just by liking my memes. I'm not really trying to make money off this at all. Um, Subscribe to this this YouTube channel. That would help. Um, 
Honestly, I just need your guys' help to get the word out about this. I don't really know what the best way to do that is right now. I'm trying different things and um, different resources and whatever, but you know, if you guys know, you know, someone with a popular Twitter account with 40,000 followers, or like, if you guys know uh, a Z-list celebrity, who knows someone else, like, like I'm trying to get in contact with like H3H3 and like people that are influencers in the community that are already like established. I'm just trying to get my story out there and you know, our story, Instagram story, that Instagram does not give a shit right now about that meme accounts are making money off kids through scammy ads and uh, you know, I'm the only person speaking up and getting death threats and there's a reason why people are mad at me is because their, their source of income is being threatened. But that's not really why I'm like, I'm, I'm not really targeting the megas, I'm just targeting the problem, which is Instagram doesn't give a shit about the megas, if that makes more sense. Obviously the megas are scamming people themselves, but you know, I don't think that, I don't think that, like a lot of the people in megas would be in megas if Instagram gave them their own uh, like tools and in-app features to, to make money like there needs to be a uh, there needs to be a huge change in Instagram for like this to like this problem to be fixed I I don't see other, any other way around it um, so this, this is gonna take a lot of time this is gonna take a lot of effort a lot of a lot of work behind the scenes a lot of DMing a lot of you know I just yeah <laughs> I'm just kind of burnt out right now um, it's it's been a crazy 72 hours uh, yeah. Um, so thanks, thanks for watching me ramble. I didn't have. I just literally just turned the camera on and I said I hit record. I'm not doing this. This is my first take. I'm, I'm not like editing or whatever. I'm just gonna you know export it to my computer and then upload it to YouTube. Um, yeah. Obviously I said like the word like like 30 times or whatever, but I don't care. <laughs> thanks for watching. I guess. Uh, thanks for the support. Also.